Hi right, folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car and I am in lovely Moab, Utah for the 2015 Easter Jeep Safari. And this is the Jeep Wrangler Africa. It's a one-off concept vehicle built to kind of tantalize your taste buds for cool Jeeps. This is basically a safari vehicle and it is very unique and you're going to find out all about it next. Again, uh, a real overlanding uh, theme to it, the Wrangler Africa. Uh, what this is, is really we started with a, uh, a, it's an export car, so it has the, the diesel engine in it, 2.8 liter, it's an automatic transmission. Um, we we uh, added lockers to the axles. We got a bunch of parts from, from Mopar Jeep Performance Parts, the, the Rubicon 10 bumper and hood as well. Uh, it's got a two inch lift from JPP as well. All right, now we're driving in the Jeep Africa. Once again, this is a one-off concept, but this one, out of all of them, I think is one of the best. The minute I looked at it, I saw a immediate challenger for the Land Rover Defender. First of all, headroom, serious headroom, and a fixed roof. Now, I know not all the Jeep people are into fixed roofs, but for going on an expedition, in many cases, that's what you want. The extra cargo space in here is more than noticeable. It's great. It really does feel like it's a solid vehicle that's ready to be sold. And it has a couple goodies that are not on the current Jeep Wrangler, one of which is the diesel engine. But the real, the real magic here is we extended the back of the vehicle 12 inches and then up four. So really the back of the vehicle, why, why 12 inches? We just went to simply the, uh, the back plane of the spare tire where that would be. So this literally fits in the same, same box that a four door fits in. Slid the tire up underneath and a giant barn door on the back. So the back of it's all, we left it wide open back there. Uh, truck bed coating through there. Um, but just to leave it as, as wide open and as spacious as possible. We keep seeing vehicles out here with all kinds of ridiculous racks and things. Um, I'm asking questions with this car. I think it's pretty cool. So far I haven't touched the accelerator. <laughs> just not even touching the accelerator, just cruising. It's too easy. They had me put it into four-wheel drive low, but seriously, it's totally unnecessary in this terrain. The seats are actually quite nice. It's this nice, almost baseball mitt-colored brown leather. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable for my large American ass. The best thing so far is that in terms of overall stretchable comfort, this is probably the most comfortable of all the Wranglers I've been in. I fit leg-wise, got ridiculous amount. There's enough headroom here for Roman and his toupee, easily. It's really impressive. Uh, it's a fixed top car, a lot more cargo space back there. I wouldn't know what the number is, but uh, I think overall, pretty cool. Uh, a lot of great reaction for this vehicle. You like? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. I mean, I wish they'd let us take these things on the highway, <laughs> but that's really not the point. The point is to measure what you guys think. And I have a feeling there are a few people out there who really like the idea of having a barn door, a larger Jeep Wrangler, a diesel, and a higher roof, and a fixed roof at that, which is basically encapsulating what this vehicle's all about.
my god there's a ton of space back there i mean there is easily enough room for a third row seat not that i'm saying it should go back there but could you imagine there's one quick question why do they have the door opening this way blocking the curb kind of strange huh well anyway doesn't really matter it's a concept i hope you like this i did i absolutely love this vehicle the extra headroom solid roof the way it's designed the way it rides it's an amazing vehicle and i really hope they build it they probably won't but you never know what you're going to find in the mopar little tool of tricks maybe you can build one of these for yourself for the fast lane car this is nathan adlin don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news views and real world reviews see you later